My name is Jess and I am so glad you're here today. I am convinced that everyone will learn something new from this conversation. And today, we're asking this question. Where did you see God today? It's a way to help us pause to look for the goodness of God in the people, the places, the situations, and more that are part of our everyday lives. And today, we're gonna talk about how we can become the kind of people who show that same goodness of God to the world around us. We're gonna mix things up a little bit. You're with your small group now, and that's because we're going to dive into group time right here today. In fact, let's start right now. With your group, talk about this question. Where did you see God today? When I think about where I see God today, I think about students just like you. When I see you have fun together and grow in your faith and discover more about God, that's where I see God's goodness at work every single week. One of the ways we've said we can see God in ourselves and others is to look for the fruit of the Spirit in their lives. And just like the fruit from a tree tells us about the tree it comes from, you can learn a lot about a person by the qualities they have. And when we're walking step by step with God, our qualities reflect God. See, when we believe in God, God's Spirit comes to live inside of us. And as we grow in our faith, God's Spirit grows qualities in our lives that make us more like God. Those qualities put together are commonly known as the fruit of the Spirit. And we find the list of qualities that make up the fruit of the Spirit in a letter in the Bible called Galatians. And the fruit of the Spirit is made up of these qualities, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. That's a pretty good list, right? I mean, I definitely wanna be a person who's a little bit more of all of those things. When my Wi-Fi is slow, I definitely need more patience. When I'm frustrated with my friend, I could use a little more gentleness in my words. When someone is consistently rude to me, a little help to be loving toward them would go a long way. What about you? Which of these nine fruit of the spirit do you feel least familiar with? Take some time and talk with your group now. Now, if I had to guess, I would say that some of your answers were really similar and some of them were really different. And of course, there's nothing wrong with having different ideas. In fact, that's one thing I really love about small groups. It's a place for different people with different backgrounds to share their different ideas and experiences with each other. If you were all talking about the same thing with the same thoughts and the same opinions, it would be a pretty boring conversation each week, right? But while some differences are awesome, they can sometimes make things a little more difficult. I mean, have you ever tried to have a conversation about something with a person who doesn't know what you're talking about? Like, if you were to talk about football with someone from Europe only to discover that their football actually means soccer, or when you tell someone you love them and you mean as a friend, but they think you mean you love them, or when you post a comment on someone's TikTok trying to be kind, but that person reads it the wrong way, thinking you were rude. My point is this. Seeing the fruit of the Spirit starts with knowing what to look for. So let's go back to that list in Galatians. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I think most of us have an idea of how we define each of these qualities, but do we really know what they mean? This is important because seeing the fruit of the Spirit starts with knowing what to look for. And we can't see the qualities of the fruit in our lives if we don't know what they mean for us. So. With your group, you're going to have some time to talk about each of these qualities by answering the questions on the screen. When time is up, you'll move on to talk about the next quality of the fruit of the Spirit. The goal is that we'll all learn more about what we can look for in our lives and in the world around us. So let's get started with the first quality, love. The second quality of the fruit of the Spirit is joy. Go ahead and talk with your group about joy. We're moving on to another quality of the fruit of God's Spirit, peace. Next up, patience. Now we're on to kindness. Time to move on to the next one, goodness. Next up, faithfulness. Let's keep going. Next up is gentleness. Last one. Let's finish by talking about self-control.
And that's all nine qualities of the fruit of the Spirit. If you're anything like me, understanding what these qualities look like makes me want to be more like that in my own life. I want to be more loving, more kind, more patient. I want to practice self-control and experience more peace. And if I had to guess, you do too. The more we understand what the qualities of the fruit of God's Spirit really are, the easier it will be for us to spot those things in ourselves and in others. The easier it will be to let the Spirit help us become more like God in our everyday lives. Because seeing the fruit of the Spirit starts with knowing what to look for. So now that we know what these qualities of God's fruit actually look like and what they mean, what do we do with them? How do we see and even grow some of these things in our own lives? I think we can start by doing these two things. One, look for the fruit. Look for where you see these qualities of the fruit in real life. Don't think just about how you define the qualities, but instead think about the real meanings of these words that we just learned to help you find them. And two, take one step to connect with God. Remember, developing the qualities of God God's fruit in your life isn't something you can do on your own. They only show up in our lives when we're connected to God. So our first move always needs to be to take a step closer to God. When we spend time with God, these qualities will start showing up in our lives more easily. My hope is that our time together today not only helped you understand more of what the fruit of God's spirit looks like in your life, but that it also encouraged you to see how God can grow more of those things in your life. Your group and your group leader wanna keep encouraging you to grow these qualities in your life. So point it out when you see someone in your group showing one of the qualities we talked about today. I want to encourage you to keep this conversation going and keep learning more about each of these qualities because seeing the fruit of the Spirit starts with knowing what to look for.